Got a, got a frog in my throat. Not like David Blaine, but like my three and a half year old brought something home. So for now, I'm gonna sound like old grandpa. We've been talking a lot about the Model X on the channel, but that is not the Tesla that's going to be what Tesla is known for. That award goes to the Model 3, which was announced the last year and is supposedly coming in 2017. And we're getting one step closer to seeing Model 3s on the road and Model 3s that you and I can actually buy. Uh, so according to Reuters, Routers, the, that company, uh, Tesla is gearing up to start a pre-production run of the Model 3 on February 20th, which is very soon. Those aren't the cars that are gonna be purchased. It's just to make sure that the equipment is going to be okay, that the factory can handle it, make sure the parts are up to standards, and also actually test these cars on the road to begin cold weather testing and hot weather testing. There's still a lot about the Model 3 we don't know. In fact, don't even know what the final design is going to look like. We saw the snub-nosed version of the Model 3 when it got announced last year. Musk has said a lot of things about that design have changed. We don't know what the finalized interior is going to look like. So there's obviously a lot we don't know, but there's still a decent amount that we do know. So let me refresh your memory what you can expect from the Model 3. First, getting Model 3, Tesla really wanted to spell out SEX with their model line, but they couldn't get the Model 3 patent from Ford, so they went to number 3. So, sex. Gonna have a starting price point of $35,000. Tesla says the average price that people actually pay for the cars when they do some upgrades is gonna be around 42. We don't know the final battery pack size, but we do know it's not gonna have 100 kilowatt hour size like we have in the Model S and the X, at least as, as options. Uh, but we do know it's gonna have a range of at least 215 miles and a zero to 60 time of at least six seconds. Certainly there'll be much faster options and longer range options as well. So plenty of range and also plenty of speed even at that baseline price. The car looked a little bit strange for a very good reason. Tesla pushed the cabin almost all the way up to the front of the car. So you got a really narrow front or front end of the car where an engine typically would go, but that gives you in the back is a lot of leg room and a lot of room for five passengers. In fact, the car is so spacious for even being so small. Tesla says you can put a seven foot surfboard just straight through the back. If you've been looking at the Model X and love that sort of helicopter-ish roof, or even the now panoramic glass roof on the Model S, that is going to also be available on the Model 3, so it should be a pretty cool, almost all glass effect through the entire top of the car. And I think the big thing about the car is gonna be the tech. It'll have Tesla's Autopilot 2.0, presumably, assuming there's not a 3.0 by the time this hits the roads, uh, which should give Tesla the ability to do full autonomy towards the end of 2018, which is not really that far away. And that's full autonomy, level five, like put your destination and go to sleep in the back. That's obviously barring a ton of regulatory approvals. Uh, Tesla claimed they're gonna get the cars on the road by the end of 2017, but I would probably not hold your breath for getting yours sometime this year. If the Model X is any indicator, there will be delays. And if they do ship at all, uh, this calendar year, it'll probably be like two or three cars and then ramp up production 2018 and 2019. If I learned anything from Tesla, it's generally maybe stay away from the first year or so production run. They've been littered with problems. We saw it with the S, we saw it with the X. We'll probably still see it with the Model 3. So that's everything we know about the Model 3. I've got a deposit down. I can't wait to get behind the wheel of one and see what this car is actually gonna look like, what the interior is gonna look like. Uh, Musk has been teasing a lot of stuff about it. So we're due to actually see what the car is going to be. See if this is gonna be the car that's going to define Tesla and be the paradigm shifting automobile that the company has been claiming for years. So what do you guys think, Model 3? Did you put a deposit down? Let us know down below. And our comment of the day comes from Abdul Morahim who says, glad to see the audio in your videos have improved. Oh, we still have a lot more to go. We're actually using a brand new audio setup. We got some sound dampening still to do in the studio. We're hoping to bring you quality audio and also obviously quality video uh, as we move forward into the year. So thank you for noticing. If you wanna give him a follow, we'll link to his channel down below. If you wanna be featured in a comment of the day or get your comment pinned, just leave a comment. Give the video a thumbs up, it definitely helps us. Until next time, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo.